Usually crocodiles and alligators are perceived by people as almost identical animals, and the list of their differences is reduced solely to the structure of the jaws. But in fact, the differences between true crocodiles and alligators are much more significant. It may surprise that crocodiles and alligators are distant relatives to each other. The evolutionary paths of alligators and the common ancestor of crocodiles and gharials diverged from about 93 to 100 million years ago, almost at the time of the first crocodilians. There are many differences between crocodiles and alligators. Integumentary sense organs which perform the function of the lateral line of fish are located throughout the body in crocodiles and only on the snout in alligators. Crocodiles and alligators make different sounds with different frequency modulation. Fire breathing dragon. I guess you're doing okay. Crocodiles and alligators also have major differences in the skeletal anatomy. They have differences in the proportions of the limbs, the structure of the foot, pectoral girdle, pelvic girdle, humerus and the shape of the vertebrae. The limb musculature is also different. As a result of these differences, alligators, unlike true crocodiles, are unable to gallop in light locomotion. Nikita! Come here, girl. Crocodiles are also better adapted to physical activity than alligators. Experiments with juvenile saltwater crocodiles and juvenile American alligators have shown that when exercising, crocodiles use an all-or-nothing strategy, consuming the maximum amount of oxygen immediately, while American alligators gradually increase their oxygen consumption with increasing physical activity. Saltwater crocodiles also have a more developed anaerobic metabolism than American alligators and can survive higher blood acidification. Crocodiles have a more complex lung structure, and in some cases have a higher metabolic rate than alligators. One of the most interesting differences is probably that alligators have some adaptations for a vegetarian diet. Alligators can digest vegetable proteins and fats, and they consume fruits much more often than crocodiles. Alligators have five times higher activity of enzymes responsible for the breakdown of carbohydrates. These differences explain why complex diets that include both animal and vegetable protein and carbohydrates are suitable for alligators but not for crocodiles on commercial farms. Crocodiles also have more advanced osmoregulatory mechanisms than alligators, which is associated with their evolution in coastal ecosystems. The differences between crocodiles and alligators can be listed as many as you like. Crocodiles and alligators cannot be considered the same animals, which differ from each other only in body size and jaw structure. The saltwater crocodile will differ from the Akari caiman in about the same way as a tiger from a red panda. In fact, these differences have a big impact on behavior and how crocodiles and alligators interact with each other and with other animals. But if crocodiles and alligators are such different animals, then the next question is quite appropriate. Who is stronger, crocodile or alligator? First, crocodiles seem to competitively displace alligators wherever they coexist. Both American and Chinese alligators are able to tolerate lower temperatures than crocodiles, which helps them avoid competition. And the black caiman lives farther south than the Orinoco crocodile and the American crocodile in the river systems inaccessible to crocodiles. Even the ecologically very plastic spectacled caiman does not seem to thrive next to true crocodiles. The biological reasons for this are very simple. Crocodiles evolved over a much larger area and faced many more threats. This made them much more aggressive and successful than alligators in the same ecological niche. Alligators evolved only in the south part of North America and among the archaic fauna of South America before the formation of the Isthmus of Panama. When faced with hypercarnivorous mammalian predators, crocodiles appear to be significantly more successful than alligators. Crocodiles benefit from coexistence with hypercarnivorous mammals by actively kleptoparasitizing their kills in the manner of other large opportunists such as bears. While alligators are more likely to become part of the diet of mammalian carnivores. Not only jaguars hunting caimans. In some places caimans make up even more of a cougar's diet than of a jaguar's diet. Isotope evidence suggests that South American saber-toothed cats also regularly hunted caimans. Young American alligators can make up a significant part of the Florida panther's diet. 
On the other hand, have you ever heard of the black caiman stealing prey from the jaguar, which even mauled crocodiles sometimes did? What happens when crocodiles and alligators go face to face? Caimans appear to be some of the weakest crocodilians for their size. They have relatively small heads, weak jaws, long necks and are very docile. Caimans not only fall prey to the larger crocodiles in wild, but have also been killed by same-sized young crocodiles in captivity. Quite surprising, given that crocodiles demonstrate dramatic changes in anatomy as they grow, associated with changes in diet. Young individuals have light skulls and small jaw muscles, being adapted to eat mostly small prey. But they proved to be more than capable of killing mature caimans as prey. The only alligator that encounters similarly sized crocodiles in the wild is the American alligator. The interactions of the American alligator with the American crocodile look somewhat more interesting. The American alligator is probably the strongest member of the alligator family. Its skull is larger than that of the black caiman and its body is very robust for its length. The American crocodile, on the other hand, is considered to be quite docile by crocodile standards and has an elongated skull with a more fragile snout. However, American crocodiles dominate American alligators, displacing them from suitable habitats. Some American crocodiles even become alligator killers. But the American crocodile is not always the winner. On two occasions known to me, alligators have emerged victorious in fights to the death. That's all I would like to tell you about the interaction between crocodiles and alligators. Many points have been summarized, so I will be happy to answer any of your questions in the comments.